hello, this is going to be a tarot and oracle card reading for Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius and a major chart placement, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus, this reading is for you. If it showed up on your for you page, there's definitely a message in here for you. But it is a general collective reading, not a personal, not a one-to-one -one reading. So you do need to use your intuition to know if it's for you. It's also meant to be timeless, which means it shouldn't matter when I created or posted this reading. What truly matters is when it showed up for you. That's when it was supposed to show up for you. All right, let's use this deck here. This is the St. Patrick's Day Lenormand deck. It's not St. Patrick's Day, but I felt drawn to this deck, so we're going to use it to get your first message or to kick this message off. Okay, so let's talk about this first card, mountain here. In tarot, mountains can mean challenges. So there might be something that you are challenged by right now or in the past. On the other side of this mountain is some kind of abundance that you want because it is number eight. Eight of clubs here. Hmm. We also have house. It says best witch wishes on it. Best wishes. King of hearts. So I feel like this is Probably, I'm looking, there's some four leaf clovers here too. So I feel like this is, and we have a seven of hearts here. Sevens are good luck. So I definitely feel like there's good luck coming in in abundance on the other side of this challenge. And with the house card, I feel like it has something to do with your home or somebody you consider home. Like somebody you, that feels like your home. You're on some kind of a pathway here. I'm seeing a pathway in these cards. And there's just obstacles to get through. Not only is there a mountain, but there's these two people here that are, they're at the end of the pathway, but there's water. So they have to cross the water too, which represents emotion. So you and or this person have to get in touch with your emotions and get over some kind of major obstacle here to get to the other side, which has good luck and abundance waiting for you. And maybe even a new house, a new home. Or you're trying to get home to each other. Okay, let's talk about this tree card. Okay, so I do see a pathway in this card as well. So all three cards have a pathway. So you're on this journey, you're on this path to get home or to get to a new home and there's challenges and there's good luck and abundance on the other side of those challenges. So the tree card is number five, which represents change. So I do think the energy is currently changing and like I said, it's number seven of heart. So I think you're going to have good luck and love here with y'all king, if you're the queen or vice versa. I feel like there's stability on the other side of this challenge. Once you and or this person get in touch with your emotions, maybe do some shadow work. Okay, let's keep pulling. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any important messages that Spirit's trying to get to you. And if at any time you find that this reading resonates with you or there's something particular in the reading that really wish, um, resonates with you, please let me know down in the comment section below. I do love to know whose energy I'm tapping into and what is going on. OK, 
Okay, so you're going to need to have spiritual strength or you've been given spiritual strength to keep going down this path, to go down this journey. And it's a journey where you're going to find out some kind of truth. Maybe the truth of who you really are, the truth of who your person is to you, who you were in a past life, um, just some clarity on a situation. It could be um, any, any kind of truth here. We will get more cards to find out more on that. It is number 20, which breaks down to two, and that's my number for love. Uh, twos and sixes are my numbers for love, but twos are kind of like a balanced love, and I'm noticing that he is kind of standing on what looks like, I don't know, one part of a scale. There's two, yeah, there's two scales, and he's kind of standing on one. So there's something here about a truth coming to light, but maybe that will help to balance things out, to balance the scale. He's also looking out at like the universe. So it might be some kind of universal truth, but you're going to have to have spiritual strength to keep going down this path, to get over that mountain, to get over that challenge, to get through those waters, those emotions. Okay. And if you keep following this path, if you have that strength and keep moving forward and keep doing that shadow work and face that challenge, not only are you going to learn this, this truth, this clarity, but you're going to get some kind of recognition or reward for doing so. I do see a nine. So that is saying you're close to the end of a cycle. Um, maybe this is just kind of that last test before you get to the next cycle or one of the next last tests challenges. And then once you pass that test, you're going to get your reward for it. You're going to get your recognition or reward. Yeah, there's definitely balance needed here. Balance wanted to come out. I looked, it was on the bottom of the deck and I looked at it earlier, but I didn't say it because I wasn't sure. But this might also be something you're manifesting because we have number 11. He looks like the magician to me, even though this isn't the magician card. It actually just says balance. He's got this kind of tool belt. And it just reminds me of like the magician card. So something you're manifesting, there's a need for balance. Could be that the situation that you're manifesting needs to balance out, especially if we're talking like a twin flame situation that that comes out a lot in readings that, you know, you guys are balancing out the energies. He's an angel. He's got this circle around him. Maybe you need to cast your circle of protection here. He's got this circle of white light around him. Maybe there's something having to do with uh, balancing out your energies. I did say with Twin Flame, yes, balancing out your energies, but also personally. You are making positive movement forward towards abundance, number eight here. You're sailing into calmer waters. You're headed towards sunshine, towards your happiness. Your solar plexus chakra might be important in this situation. So you need to work with your solar plexus chakra or maybe it's blocked and you need to work on unblocking it. I also see your third eye chakra also unblock your third eye chakra or need to work with it. The third eye chakra card is number six, which is my other number for love. So I do think this is probably a love reading. I guess it doesn't have to be if it resonates in a different way for you. But I do have two and six. Coming out so far. But the main premise of this reading so far is that there's a challenge, that there's a path you're walking down and you have to get through emotions and you know, climb some kind of mountain. It's gonna be a challenge, so you need to have spiritual strength that you're gonna be finding some kind of truth and clarity and also getting recognition and reward and making positive movement forward if you do so. Working with your solar plexus chakra and your third eye or unblocking them and achieving some kind of balance. This is gonna be something we've got beyond the ordinary wanting to pop out here. Number 45, which breaks down to nine, which we already had nine. So ending, Close to ending a cycle, in order to do so, you're going to be tapping into things that are beyond the ordinary. I'm feeling like, like beyond the veil. 
Like you're going to be tapping into things with your third eye, some kind of truth, some kind of wisdom here. It could be ancient wisdom, divine wisdom. And we have call of the muse. So I feel like this is going to be, that makes me think of when they talk about when your angels give you like an inspired thought, like your angel is your muse. So if this is a love situation, maybe somebody, you or your person will be getting some kind of information from the divine or you know, like higher calling from the divine, like uh, signs and synchronicities that they need to follow. But the beyond the ordinary, that makes me think it looks like very like cosmos type picture right there. So it makes me think of like the universe and um, he's got his eyes closed as if he's meditating and he's got his brain's got all these little twinkles on him. So it's almost like he's receiving these downloads of light codes or something from the universe. So I don't know, I'm just getting kind of like somebody who's meditating and receiving like wisdom downloads. So I don't know if this is you or your person. And I, as I set that down, it's right next to the third eye chakra. So the royal you on the bottom. So this might be you and or your person stepping into your power. Number 16 breaks down to seven, seven's good luck. So whatever this is, is going to bring good luck putting on your crown, opening up, blossoming, stepping into your power, yes. And to somebody who's beyond the ordinary, but also to tapping in to information that's beyond the ordinary. Because you're being called, call of the muse by your angels, they are going to be inspiring you to walk some kind of path. But while it's challenging, you will be not only getting some kind of clarity and truth, but recognition and reward. A positive movement forward towards good luck and abundance if you do this. Getting rewarded for it. For whatever hard work you do. It's going to take spiritual strength. But you can do this. Time to meditate. I have him meditating the spiritual strength card. Kind of looks like it's a Buddha there. careful of being jealous of other people. Know that you are the same as everybody. You just have different challenges. So when you look at people, like if you look at people on social media, first of all, nobody shows their problems. I mean, maybe some people are starting to open up and do things like that, but most people like on Facebook or whatever, they show their happy life. They show when they've got their makeup on and they look, you know, very polished or whatever. A lot of times, not everybody, but um, so be careful of judging yourself and feeling like other people have an easier life than you because you're the same as everybody else. Everybody just has different challenges. They might be good at one thing that you're not good at, but then they're not good at something else. And we have, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So funny, this envy card literally says, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. And then the judgment card, which I said is, judging yourself as I read it, it says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So I'm getting to be very careful of judging yourself and being envious of other people because just because it looks like they have the perfect life, nobody's perfect, nobody has the perfect life. So, you know, they might be filthy rich, but they might be miserable. Or they might be beautiful, but they might not have anybody in their life. Because two people are, you know, they're so beautiful on the outside that people are too intimidated to even talk to them or whatever. So everybody has their different challenges. We're all walking a different path. Um, and that's why we have different challenges. It's all about what lessons we wanted to sign up for. So when you look at somebody else, try to keep that in mind that just because on the outside, your first reaction might be to get jealous and go, I wish I had what she had. There's a reason why that person has that and you don't. It's not because you don't deserve it. You just might have um, different things to overcome, different lessons to learn. And then they also want you to be very lighthearted. You have the humor card and there's a Buddha on there too. So there's something here about Buddha in this um, reading so far, I feel, because that looks like a Buddha, this looks like a Buddha. 
It says, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So Buddha, in my eyes, I feel like he's kind of like the Buddha type energy is like overcoming our emotions and realizing that we kind of have a power over what how we choose to react to things. So in this case, try to look at life in a lighter view. Don't try to be so envious or so judgmental. And this is really of yourself. And have patience. There's going to be patience needed in this situation. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So whatever this is that you're manifesting, I believe it's probably a love situation. You're going to have to have patience. So it's probably not going to happen right away. If you're lonely, know that you're never alone. They want to tell you that as well. So if you're feeling lonely, you're never alone. You need to have patience in this situation. All right, so I'm going to end this part of the reading here, but I'm going to go into a bonus extended reading. So if you want to know more about this reading, if it resonates with you and you want to know what the outcome is going to be with this person, once you get past this mountain, if you keep having spiritual strength and keep moving forward, especially in the next six months to a year or sooner, we do timing in the bonus extended. So I'm going to get into that. And I'm going to try to remember, I don't know if I remembered for the all signs video or not, um, but I'm going to try to remember to do some like what is he or she thinking or feeling cards. Those are always fun. But we're going to ask, you know, what's going to happen in the next six months to a year sooner so we can get kind of an outcome and find out what's going to happen in that time frame and get some advice cards. So if this does sound like something that's very much resonating with you and you want advice on how to make this happen, Yes, you have to have, be patient, but is it going to come in? And if so, how can you help the situation out? What else does spirit want you to know? So yeah, if, if you feel like I'm tapping into your energy, then you don't want to miss these details. So go meet me in the bonus extended right now. The link is down below in the description box. You just click it there. It'll take you to my Patreon. And you can get access not only to this one reading, but to all of the bonus extended readings that I've done up until this point and continue to do for to do forward for whatever time period that you pay for. So if you pay for a month, you'll get a month's worth of exclusive unlimited access. It's only like $5.55 for a month's worth of access. So it's pretty cool. So not just this one reading. Um, and if you want a personal reading, if you're not sure if this is for you or if you have any other questions, um, also, I do have one reading called the erotic reading that's been kind of popular lately. Um, that one is just basically using the decks that I can't use on like TikTok and YouTube because they're kind of spicy. They're kind of sexy, you know, sexy images, sexy, sexier things that he or she may be thinking. So that's been kind of popular. If you want one of those, I make a video reading. I upload it to YouTube as private and send you the link within a day or two. I have other readings as well. Go check out my website and check out my different offerings. I also do readings on live on TikTok, but personally, I think the, the video readings are better because I get to focus on the reading and you can watch it over and over again. You can watch it at your leisure. You don't have to um, be there when I'm live on TikTok. Plus, you can do longer readings. So on TikTok, it might be about half an hour, 15 minutes to 30 minutes. But I have longer readings um, that I can do as video readings on my website where I make the video and send it to you. Okay, so that's uh, what I got to say. So let's go to the bonus extended now and find out more about this situation and get some sexy cards. Like what are they thinking or feeling? And maybe some charms. I don't know what we're going to get, but we always get a lot of good extra details. So let's go there right now. <laughs> 